Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be building this beautiful hero section using TV CSS. And this is actually another part of the playlist I created, which is still this easy. So if you are new to this channel, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share to your friends. So basically, we can blow up this channel and do a lot of beautiful things. So basically, the items, let's just get started. All right, so to go ahead and start with this, the first one to do is we have to set up our project so to set up our project i'm going to open up my terminal i'm going to see it into documents okay so i'm, I'm going to see the document i'm going to see it into my youtube okay so basically this is where i'm creating all my youtube videos the folder so i'm going to create a new folder called travel page all right so once i've done that i also see it into travel page once that is done, you, now you can go ahead and open Visual Studio Code in this folder. Yes, it's going to open up Visual Studio Code. So if I can just drag that, drag that right inside here. Good. So you see we have an empty page. What we can go ahead and do is open up our terminal. All right, so once our terminal is open now, what we want to do is um, go ahead and install um, doing CSS on our project. So let's go back to our browser. Head about to www.themincss.com slash dog slash installation. So go ahead and head about to this page. So the first thing to do is install this. So we'll go ahead and copy this command. So basically just follow exactly what is in the in the, in the place. So paste it, then we'll wait for this to finish. While that is loading, next thing to do is copy this. So this MPX Tailwind CSS image, this is like basically turning into great a tailwind configuration file for us, which is going to do at um actually. So it's going to create a new file for us. All right, so um let's just wait for this to finish up. So now after installing, you can see it is installed finished. So I can go ahead and clear this. So next we need to do is paste on our MPX tailwind CSS init. So which is going to create a file for us here, which is doing css.config.js, which is like the font configuration we need when you want to add like custom color, custom um responsive screen sizes or whatever you want to do. All right, so once that is done already, now we can go ahead back to this and we're going to replace our doing config file here. So we just go ahead and copy what, what you copy there, go ahead and paste it right here. So basically we're turning this to look into the context for the um, uh, well, for the content, we are specifying any any files that is inside the SRC file, which is either all the files or be it HTML, CSS, or whatever type of file is inside the SRC folder. So basically, we are turning it in. That's why I'll copy this. So we also create a folder SRC, then input the CSS inside of it. So it's better create a folder called SRC. Inside there, we're going to create a new file called input.css. So go ahead and paste this. Once you've pasted that, you can go ahead and, and just close everything up. Now we need to run this. So basically, once you run this, it's going to start running on the npm um tailwind CSS on the watch for us. Meaning, once we make any changes, it's going to auto reload our uh, our CSS build process. Uh, CSS build process for us. So yep. So basically, in the time now, I'm gonna paste that, and it's going to create a new file called this outputs.css, a new folder which is right here in the new file output.css as classic. So as we write our code, it's going to get um you know um populated more and more so basically that is the user of um, the stuff that we pasted in good so once that is done we got now let's go ahead and copy this and create a new file in our src called index.html then paste it right here save so what i want to do now is now open this up with live server you can go ahead and open it up with any server you have or whatever so basically it just allows us to like see the changes we make in real time so you can see now we have Text with three uh, font board and underline, and this is underline as you can see. So, if I should go ahead and change this to like 5 pixel, you can see it's bigger out of windows, and you can see this is rebuilding every time we do that. Good. So, once that is out of the way, the first thing I want us to uh, go ahead and look at is the theme in config here. So, I'm going to copy the configuration I have um, before. So, don't worry about it. This is in the uh, in the documentation uh, in the GitHub link, so you can go ahead and just copy everything from the GitHub link. You don't need to worry about it. So basically, I'm just going to paste in random colors that we use for the red text, purple text, and everything, rather than trying to go to our flow in doing it. And the next thing I need to do is I'll set up the images. So I'll go back to the documents 
and I'll go to my folder my YouTube. So this is actually the one I built at first. I'm going to copy up, just copy the image folder, grab the image folder. I'm going to grab the image folder then. In the other I'm going to paste this right here. So good. So basically, this is all the images that we have, as you can see. All right, good. So once that, once that is out of the way, we can start building now. All right, so now in our index.html, let's go ahead and click some stuff. So basically, I'm going to remove this and expect it. Then I want to add a div. So this div is going to have a px of 64 and a padding width of 6. So basically, we are thinking to have um, this kind of uh, spacing. So as you can see, so this is px of 64, the whole spacing around here. So around there and also around here. Around there, so basically, that we are turning into a good. So once we have that on the way, I want to go ahead and have another div. So inside this div, I like wrapping most of my coding divs. I don't know why. So inside this div, I want to have a flex, which is going to be item center. Then once I have that, I want to do better to justify between. So we see why we are using just about justify between now. All right, so once I have that, I want to go ahead and have a div now. So inside the want to better wrap our image, so which is going to be images slash logo That's PNG as expected. Then have a div. Uh, and basically, this div is going to be a flex. Once it's a flex, it's going to be an item center. So item center is like let them center like. Uh, I would like to say, is it horizontal? Yeah, it allows them to be centered horizontally on each line. So they want to have a space X of 12. So basically, a uh, space of 12 around each of the elements. They are going to see what I mean, actually. Okay, good. So once that is, they want to have a tag. So this a tag, the first thing we need is a destination. All right, so destination. All right, so destination we're going to run font semi bold. All right, so if I should save this and I ever back to my browser, you'll notice now we have this padding and this here. So the meaning of justified return is that it is giving them space between each other. So basically, if I should focus the spell that you see they are joined together like this, so if I should return it back, you see their space between and this space X now is a uh, like. Let me only spell that and let me copy this space it right here. You see that joined together. But you go ahead and add a uh, space x of 12 here. You see the spacing between them. So basically that that's one like separates all of them. All right. So what I want to do is go ahead and add in um, the following links that are required in this place. Okay, good. So that has been added already. Now there's something about next of the have is sign up. So the sign up is a little bit different from what we are expecting. So for the sign up, we can write have a, a normal H, H tag. We're just going to have a class. So what class are we going to give? We're going to give it a border. So basically, we're going to wrap it in a border. We're going to have it uh, have it uh, make it have a border. So we are seeing nothing now because we have to pass in sign up here or uh, sign in. I believe so. Like you can see, we have the border there. So after the border. What we need to do is add a px of 4. So basically, it's just going to make it long. As you can see, we want to have py of 1.5. So we want it um, padding up and down. Then we are going to do rounded md. So we want the border to be rounded. Just going to refresh that. Okay. Good rounded body, uh, rounded medium, I mean, so not rounded body. Then next thing we need to do is uh, make the font black. Okay. So let's go back to code. You can go ahead and make uh make, make the border black. I mean, sorry. You can go ahead and make the font to be semi bold just like we have the previous ones. And we should save this and whatever back to our browser and we should have this voila. Now the next thing we need to do is now figure out create a flex. So why are we creating a flex in this case? The reason why we're creating a flex is because we've been noticing the image here. We have a uh, E N. Then we have this icon bit beside it. So basically, that is what we are gonna do. So it's an it is it's a flex in that case. So to get the icon, we have to go to Eros icon. So Eros icon is actually created by the people that created them in CSS. So here I'm just going to search for arrow. So once arrow and this is it right here. So go ahead and copy that. I do have a box here. Visual Studio Code. 
then this flex don't forget your item center as usual so once that is there we can go and do the normal which are the which is class which is a font semi bold which is en sorry which is en so once that is done already then we can go ahead and just uh, paste in our, our stuff so you see head over back to the browser and just see it is there but well, it is actually very very big so let's go ahead and reduce the height and width to half of six which is three good so we have that nice so the header section is done now so the next part we need to figure out is this stuff at the back of it so to do that let's head over back to our code and basically we can just uh call this oh um, i believe we can call this after the div here so basically after this div so we can go ahead and call an image so what's our image slash it is called the core so the code all right so if you should see this i will take a look at that you can see we have our image here messed up as expected so we can go ahead and have a class so this class we can go ahead and have a class of absolute so us is absolutely want to make it right zero then top should be also zero uh, which is going to result into this now since this is actually resulting into that that is not actually what we want what we want is uh we want the text to come out so to do that what we can go ahead and do is it will box our to the flex place we can go ahead and add z, in, z index which is 50 so you can see z index like move to the back so we are basically sending it back to the sending it to the back you can see now we have exactly what we needed good so now we can go ahead and jump into this section all right so for this section here what we need what we need for C is we need to have a padding top of padding top because yeah why not because when we look at this there's a space around here like this so at the top so we need to have padding top okay so and um, some other stuff so and that is basically going to be after this d here yep so after the d no up, uh, i'm trying to figure out where the d is so after, after this d yeah so we are going to have the padding top of 60 we'll give part of the other and flex that will do items to the center all right, so once that is done, we can now go ahead and have div class. So this class here, I want to give it a width of um, 150 pixels. All right, so inside this div, I want to have another div. So inside this div, now we are going to have a div of grid with a gap of four. So gap around all the elements, which is four. There. Inside also, I want to have a grid also. So this grid is also going to be for because we are going to be stacking objects on top of each other in this place too. So we are going to have a span of text. So text is going to be red text. And where is the red text from coming from? Remember the table coffin that we created, which is this one. You can see the red text is there. And you can see it even showed us the color. Beautiful. So next one it is our font board. On board, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the text on the page, which is our base destination around the word. Okay. All right, so let's go and paste that here. So, best I do social word, we need it to be a bigger text. So, let's make it the text of 2XL. So, take a look at it. Beautiful. Nice. So, exactly what we needed. Next one today is uh, create the that text below it, which is uh, this travel and enjoy uh, blah 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 blah. That's here yeah. to go back to your code. And um, you remember it's a grid, so basically under here again. So we span. This is going to be a font that is going to be bold. Bold on. They said text with six so Basically, it will get the biggest of all the text on the text purple. So this text purple here is going to is also what we added in the demo config. So text purple. Okay. Now once that's there, we're gonna do right what we have, which is travel, enjoy, and leave a new 
on full lag. So let's take a look at that. I clicked on the wrong, wrong stuff. Okay, good. So we have that. It's there already. So what next we need is uh, the other decoy, so which is um, basically this line is at the back of our text. I'm just sorry about this. So that's at the back of our text. So to do that, what we can do is um, after the span, I got our image. So what image are we having? Images slash got it decoyed on the score line. All right. So for that, we're going to have a class. But before we have a class, let's take a look at what we have. So we have our image which is done because it's, remember is a grid, so it's going to be like they're going to be stuck on, on top of each other. So what we can do is now go ahead and add absolute. So once we have the absolute there, you'll be able to you know uh move them as you want. So absolute class is now at the top. Of, I thought I closed this. Sorry, console. All right, good. So the first one to do is give it a top. So this top is going to take in 400 pixels. Don't worry, I've completed this already. But if you're not getting the exact stuff we are having, so you can basically tweak the numbers. So you understand. Hope you understand what I'm saying. So we have to go what is exactly what we want it to be. So once we get our left, which is going to be 430 pixels. Exactly, then I um, want to have a height of 12 pieces, then a width of um, 300 pieces. So I should save this for so basically that is what we want to have. But there is something missing actually. What is missing there is you can see the text is pushed at the back, I mean, the, the um, the icon is at the back. So to do that, we have to go back to our gap four, not gap four actually. So we have to go back to our text proper here, and we have to specify Z index of 50, just like we did in the beginning. And you notice now it is sent to the back. Good. So next one to is now go ahead and uh, include our beautiful big giant music lady. So before that, uh, before that we have to, we have to finish all this uh, stuff that is it. So let's go back to our code. Then after this D, so basically after this D here, so we see have them wrapped in the D in a grid. I mean, so we want to have a div again. We span that should be light popping text. Okay, so we want to have light popping text. Then I can basically go ahead and copy what we have here. All right, so copy that i'm just going to save it and i should take a look at it good so we have that then next we need is our our button so our button is going to be flex hopefully you guessed right so we have also the flex div dot flex so for the flex here we're going to make it item center space x should be six okay so space x should be six you want to have a which is actually our button. So we are, we are going to customize it and the text in our button is our find out more. So we can go ahead and do find out more. Then we can go ahead and specify a class here. So the class, the first class we want to specify here is a PX of four. So once it's padding vertical four, they want to have padding. Once it's padding horizontal four, they want to have padding vertical and of 2.5. Grounded should be MD, they want to have a PG. So we have our custom color, which is yellow color. Then we need to specify our text color also, which is to do that. Um, we added text, which is text white. Good. So you should save this and I add it back to the browser. Now, see, so we have this. So let's refresh. Okay, good. See, so if your color is not showing, just make sure you refresh. All right, because sometimes I don't know why. I think it's the live server. So it tends to not like reflect what we are trying to do. Okay, good. So since this is done already, we can go back to our stop. Remember, it's a flex. So the next we need to do is add our another div, which is a flex. The next time we place onto our item center, we want to space them, space x of 3. Okay, so space x of 3, they want to have a d. So this div here is going to be a uh, rounded. So we want a full circle, a circle that is 
fully circled so button color so this is also a custom color pattern of two your text should be text of white okay so basically what we want to add here is a uh, is an icon so i'm going to grab the icon you can grab it from the arrow icons so you just go ahead and search for play play button or play so you're going to grab the icon okay similar that image okay so we're going to just paste it uh, so i should go ahead and take a look at that now basically this is what we're trying to do good and the reason why is the place because there's a text in front of the uh, the uh, text in front of the play icon so we're going to have a text div so the div is going to be a span which is going to be text light purple text and which is going to be play demo okay good nice so the last thing we now need is um as you can notice is this image so the beautiful lady if you are watching my video please don't see me i saw you on nice so. i mean we just have to do what we have to do okay so now for the beautiful lady remember we have a flex so we have to figure out our flex here yeah? so basically remember the first flex we did with the padding top of 60 so after the closing tag i believe so we are gonna have a deep we are gonna have a div class oh sorry not class but have a div of absolute so for that absolute now we are gonna have a top of 20 right should be 40 then inside of it we are gonna have an image which is basically our image uh, traveler.png but to complete bro traveler.png so save this and you should go ahead and check it out boom and we are done already so basically we put this beautiful amazing little section using tv css and of course it is not responsive it is responsive to some extent so basically to, uh, to this part of screen i believe but it's Keep us shrinking out, yeah. Everything is going to get scattered. So, basically, like I just if you need a video on responsiveness and tools, yes, please make sure you comment. And I'm going to make every uh, what we do responsive. So, if you like this video, please make sure you like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.